Siri here with the people in manufacturing doing machining 101 on what is TPM, or total preventative maintenance. Here with Kenny Partnan to learn all about it. Hey, you know, Kenny. So what is TPM? The total preventative maintenance, and it's a, uh, a program that we implemented here, and basically go through a checklist to make sure everything on your machine is performing appropriately and correctly, and if you stay up on this sort of thing, it's just like checking the oil in your car. It ensures that your machine's not going to break unexpectedly. So I'm the new guy here, and I'm trying to learn how to turn this machine on. I have to do this before I turn the machine on? I like to do this while I'm turning the machine on. It's just like a computer. It takes a little bit to get all booted up and, and going. So while that's happening, I can start working on this stuff so that way I can get a lot more done. So what's the first thing I do as an operator walking up to this machine for TPM? Well, let's go turn it on. I mean, we got we have a disconnect in the back. We'll go turn that on, and then we'll press on. <laughs> so first step is on. So now we're ready to turn it on. What do we do, boss? Well, there's your uh, breaker. Go ahead and turn that clockwise. It's now what, Kenny? We're gonna go back over to the controller and hit the big green button. You mean the rock and roll button? Oh, we're not ready for that yet. Oh. The green button? You mean just press the on button? Yes. Very self-explanatory. That's it. So now, we got the machine on. I'm new. What's our next step? Let's go to our checklist and do some uh, maintenance checks over here. So, the top few on here, we can do in one, one walk around of the machine. We're going to look for, or listen for air leaks. We're going to look for fluid leaks. And we're going to check our coolant level. Those are the first three? Yep. Let's do it. Alright, so this is where the air comes into the machine, and there's a lot of valves, regulators, solenoids and things going on over here and we really just want to make sure no seals are blown or anything bad has happened overnight because eventually stuff wears out. So we're listening for any leaks. They will be very apparent when there are leaks. What is that sound? Just a loud hissing sound. So guess what? We have an apprenticeship. You do? If you're interested in joining our apprenticeship at Sunny's The Car Wash Factory, please contact us at info at tpomft.com. So we check the lubricator and then the water separator? Yes. And we check it first? We walk over here and we listen for leaks. When you do hear a leak, depending on the severity, sometimes it'll be very bad and we won't be able to use the machine that day. But if you have a tiny leak, we're going to let our maintenance supervisor know, you're going to let me know, so that way we can get this on order, get it replaced, and the machine can operate as it's supposed to. So, if I hear this hissing, I come find you first before I do anything else? Yes. Cool. So our next step is to check the hydraulic line. We're checking to make sure that there's hydraulic fluid in the reservoir, that the pump's operating correctly. So, there's the gauge on here. I want you to just check to make sure that it's not empty. And I do that by checking the level right here? Exactly. So that ball, this is floating, and if this is all the way down, you're going to let me know that we have a hydraulic problem. Gotcha. So it's above the low, but below the high, so we're good. Correct. So as the machine turns on and hydraulics start flowing, this level will move because fluid is now going to be in the lines. However, it's a closed system, so it's going to go into the lines and back into the tank. So when the hydraulics are on or off, the level's going to be a little different, but we're not going to be losing any fluid. So that's why it's important to check before you start getting all your moving parts? Correct. We gotcha. want to make sure that we have fluid in here so that way the pump doesn't fail, that we don't have any leaks anywhere in the machine. Perfect. So we checked the machine's air, hydraulics, and we found out there's no leaks. What's next? Are we good to go? Let's look at our checklist. Next thing is check way lube oil. Next thing is check spindle and subspindle chuck pressure. 
check air regulator pressure. So how do we check? So how do we check the weight lube oil levels? This is the reservoir. There's a low line and a high line, and we're in between. We're going to check this every day when we turn the machine on. What's the importance of weight lube oils? So the way a machine moves, it moves on guideways, and they're very precise mating surfaces that the machine slides on. And in order for it to slide smoothly, the machine pumps weight lube in between those surfaces so the machine can move smoothly and quickly. So that's the importance of checking your weight lube oil before you start the machine. Two reasons. The machine will alarm if there's no weight lube. Ah. Another reason, so the machine can keep moving. Are you the FNG in the shop? The fancy new guy? Well, I am too. Follow my journey and watch Machining 101, where Kenny teaches me everything I need to know about machining and manufacturing. Visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com for all you FNGs out there. This episode of Machining 101 was brought to you by Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Sunny's is the largest conveyorized car wash manufacturer in the world. For more information, visit sunnysdirect.com.